everybody got another add-on that I'm making and it's called the bull box and shift alt E will pull this up and I can pull in some mesh primitives here like this kind of scale these up do whatever I want hide the cutter that process I plan on automating so you can pull the cutters back and then I could say add another one in here scale this one on the Y potentially add a bevel and I don't want to add the bevel there. Let me grab the cutter and I'll add the bevel. I'm doing that with bevel magic, by the way. And I can hide that. So now you've got these cutters here that you can kind of bring back whenever. And, you know, I could jump in and grab some of these. And add some chamfers. Add anything I want. And then hide it. See if I like it. Come back. Because so sometimes when you get involved in the... Um, in the process here you'll kind of miscut something and that's a real pain because you can't go back sometimes so this is just one way to be able to do that and like I said you've also got the shift alt e menu here which will pull up for sphere cylinder and so on so if I want to pull up a cylinder then I can pull up a cylinder actually you got to have the object selected which is fun so but it's real cool because you can just come right back in and you can, while the cutter is active and live, I'll just go ahead and delete the cutter. While the cutter is active and live, you can still modify it again. Okay, so if I come down here to the cylinder verts, I'll be able to increase or decrease these however I want. And then the segments, you can change some of those as well. And it's just a little mouse modal goes back and forth. It's just like regular blender. It should be pretty smooth, but if you sling this off hard to the right, obviously it's going to lag out a little bit, so just kind of be aware of that. And then I've got this cutter here, and that kind of usurps the other one, so you got to be careful. And don't forget about the sh uh, little trick I showed everybody, and I don't have the hard service toolbox installed here, so I'll go ahead grab that and install the latest 2.7 version real quick and inside the hard service toolbox you can do this and you can do this outside all you have to do is grab a solidify but if you grab your active bullion cutter i've got a solidify cutter down here and it's built so that you can kind of add a little extra something to your cuts which is really cool and so you can kind of play around with the cut here and then if you want you can yet add another one and kind of layer these and then if you do it right and apply one of your solidifies you can add another one so I'll go ahead and apply one of these solidifies okay and now let's make sure that I've grabbed the correct cutter here I want the live cutter and then I'll add another solidify to it and I can add another layer to this. And now Blender might start lagging out if you do too much of that. But it's really cool because you can grab the individual cutters and the individual um, solidifies. And then start kind of playing around with the thickness and how it looks. And so that would be a really cool trick. And then you can add certain, um, you know, you can chamfer these and do all kinds of really cool things. So that's it, guys. That's all I'm going to do with this model so I don't end up crashing Blender because it is going to get kind of heavy. But thanks for watching, and I'm going to keep working on this add-on, and I will have it available on the Blender market, but it's going to be something that just um, donates to the Blender Foundation. So, you know, until it actually grows into a bigger add-on, I'm just going to put it on there like I did the Light Magic for like 51 cents or 60 cents or something like that just so some money goes to the blender foundation when you guys go pick it up anyhow thanks for watching see you guys in the next one